Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. I want to make a quick announcement before I get started with your daily reading. I'm going to be doing giveaways every Saturday. Okay, so you guys make sure you're ready on Saturday when you get your uh, notification that I've uploaded a, a giveaway video and be ready, okay? All right, with that said, this is going to be your daily general reading for Wednesday, the 22nd of January, 2020. All right, now keep in mind this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and this is an intuitive reading. Now, I'm using the Psychic Tarot along with the Angel Answers Oracle, and I will be doing your daily reading with the Llewellyn's Classic Tarot. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Beautiful energy coming up here. Positive movement forward. All right. All right, angels. What messages do you have for us? Wednesday, the 22nd. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Okay, so we have the energy of not the right time. Very interesting. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know? Wednesday, the 22nd. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the Seven of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and we have the Tower. Okay. <clears throat> Give me just a moment. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the number sequence one, two, three, okay? And we have two sevens here, the number 77. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. Now, one major thing I'm getting here, you know, I was focused on the angel answer here, okay? Um... Now, your angels, you're going to know if this message is for you, okay? Uh, it says, not the right time. And, you know, I was asking about this while I was shuffling. And we have the Seven of Cups here, clarified by the Tower. I feel there's a major decision that you're feeling like you just have to make. Like, right now, today, if it doesn't get made... You know, you're going to miss out or you're afraid you're going to make the wrong decision. And you know what? What I'm getting with the angel's answer right here uh, with not the right time, give it a few days, okay? Give it a few days and then come back to the table if this message is for you and rethink about what opportunities it is uh, because I feel like there's just somebody out there, you've got this energy where you feel like you've got to make this decision right now. And your angels are saying, wait a minute, pause and reflect on this before, you know, making such a major decision, okay? Because right now is not the time. And, you know, it could really blow up in your face with the tower coming up here, okay? Now that message isn't for everyone. You're going to know it if it's for you though, okay? Always listen to your intuition. Now we have this energy coming up here. Positive movement forward. I love this. 
Um, I feel some of you are coming out of a, you know, an energy of feeling blocked or stuck. And I feel like you're you're just sailing along here like the picture okay i'm seeing these six of swords in my mind's eye and i'm getting a sense here that you're coming out of that energy of maybe uh the fives okay where you you feel like you've been dealing with some difficulties or challenges and now you've been triumphant over adversity and you're moving forward here some of you you could be traveling some of you could be planning a vacation um some of you could literally be relocating as well. Now, for some of you, this could be exciting news coming in here as well. Spirit is saying, thank you, Spirit, that is going to allow for you to be able to move forward and come out of that, that feeling of being stuck, okay? And what's interesting is that we had that energy in yesterday's reading as well. And, you know, that five energy where you may be feeling blocked or stuck, you know, and I feel there could be news or possibly uh, a phone call, an email, okay? Somebody's going to tell you something that is really going to allow for you to break free from that energy and you're just going to feel like, whew, Finally, I can move forward. Or maybe you were worrying over nothing. Maybe you were stressing out over something that wasn't as serious as you thought it was. That's what I'm getting here. Thank you, Spirit. Now, some of you, you could be hearing about a job, okay? A job opportunity, a career opportunity as well. So we have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Two of Swords. The Seven of Wands is that energy of, you know, standing up for what you believe in and not backing down. And, you know, Spirit says you have the upper hand in this situation. You have the gaining advantage. It's important for some of you to set up some boundaries. It's important for some of you, you know, to stand in your truth, okay? Um, some people may not agree with what you're doing. Maybe it's a career path. Maybe it's a spiritual path, you know, um, but that's okay. You're here to live your destiny, right? Not anybody else's. So I'm kind of getting that energy as well. You know, when the Seven of Wands comes up, it does talk about that you are prepared. You're aware. You're awake. Okay. And what I mean by that is your third eye and your crown chakra is open. You know what you want. You are in alignment with your, your destiny, with spirit, okay? And this is you standing up for what you believe in. Now we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is that energy of being at a crossroads, okay? Oftentimes, there's a decision that needs to be made. And I feel like it's a decision that's based on you defending what you believe, on, believe in here. And, you know, like I said, some of you are starting a new journey, a career path, a spiritual journey, and not, not everybody is agreeing with you. And I feel like you feel stuck or you feel defensive and you know you need to speak up and speak your truth here, but you're afraid you might hurt someone's feelings. Spirit says, take that blindfold off. You see, she's got a blindfold on right there. She's not wanting to, you know, maybe hurt anybody's feelings, but there's a need to be direct, okay? There's a need for you to stand in your truth here, okay? You know, let, let's give an example here. Maybe you're in college or maybe you've had a career for the last 20 years. Maybe it has been good money, but maybe it's no longer serving, you know, serving its purpose, um, maybe you're wanting to do something that's going to bring more emotional satisfaction, okay? You're getting in alignment with your true destiny and you're realizing that maybe what you've been doing the last 20 years wasn't what you really wanted or what's in alignment with what your destiny is now. And you may have people, you know, bucking up to you and saying, wait a minute, have you lost your mind? You know, because people can argue over stuff like that. Believe me, I know. And 
you're going to need to go ahead and make the decision here and take that blindfold off and be like, look, I'm going to have to do what's right and what's just for me. I'm not hurting anybody else. I'm not hurting myself. This is what I want. And, you know, once you take that blindfold off, you're going to be able to stand in your truth right here. And I feel like you're going to find out it's not so bad. Okay? And for some of you, this has definitely left you feeling stuck. But once you go ahead and say what you need to say, okay, it's going to allow for you to start to move forward. Now, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. I love the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Karma, the Wheel of Fate, the Wheel of Destiny. Uh, it's an amazing energy. This talks about major change. This talks about taking positive risks, being re-inspired. Okay, and what risks you're taking that are positive... And being re-inspired and that passion that is being reawakened within you, okay, of what you're taking action on, allows for major change, good change, to take place in your situation. So I see this is very um, positive. It's very lucky. You always want to ride with the wheel of fortune and not against it. So don't get stuck. Um, you know, if things start picking up and you get stopped in your tracks here because somebody's wanting you to do something else, but you know in your heart you want you want to do what you what your heart's true desire is here. Okay, you know what your destiny is. But if you stay in this energy right here, it's gonna leave you riding uh you know, you're gonna be riding against the will, not with it. I feel like this positive change of luck and what's taking place here with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This, this talks about, you know, what positive change is coming here is, you know, some type of new beginning. Something that's down to earth and practical, realistic. It's money, okay? It's, it's material. Okay, some of you have already planted the seeds. You've nurtured them. And with this energy coming up here, maybe some of you, what you've already planted and nurtured is starting to materialize and coming to fruition into your situation. For others of you, this is a new beginning of something that could be really be and bring financial stability and security into your situation, not to mention it's something that you enjoy doing. Thank you, Spirit. Now we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords talks about clarity. A new beginning here. Doing what's right and what's just for you in your situation. This is you cutting away any toxicity, any negativity, anything that's no longer serving you. Again, many of you are breaking free from that Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords energy, okay? Two of Swords energy. You're breaking free. And this is what's allowing for you to have foresight about what you're taking action on, what your heart's true desire is, what you really want. And with this Ace of Swords here being clarified by the Three of Pentacles, you guys... Are making a plan you've got a strategy going here you're making sure you're not overlooking anything you're planning for the future I feel like what you're taking action on here okay is something that you're you've already learned you're already highly skilled at if not you're planning on going to school you're planning on uh, taking classes some of you, this definitely could be you branching out on your own, starting your own business with what you already know because you are highly skilled. You know, when you receive the Three of Pentacles, 
you know, this represents that you have people admiring your skill, your work. Oftentimes, this can represent a pay raise, promotion, moving up within a company, recognition, okay, reward. But I'm getting a sense here for many of you, this is you moving forward and having foresight about what you want, what you're planning. You're not overlooking anything. You're gaining all the knowledge and research that you need to be able to go after what you want. And you have the clarity here. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Tower. For some of you, this is an energy of feeling overwhelmed. Too much of a choice, okay? Oftentimes when this comes up, you're afraid you're going to make the wrong choice. And if, you know, if you are living in that fear, it can most definitely, even not making a choice, can cause this tower to happen. And sometimes the tower needs to happen. When the tower happens, it shakes our life up. We can break down bad habits, purge our feelings, and have some type of breakthrough so we can start to rebuild. Now, something I am getting here from Spirit, this may be for one or two of you, you're dealing with addictions, alcoholism, and addictions come in many forms. It could be eating. It could be spending. I see you getting help here. I see you breaking down this bad habit. I, I feel for some of you, you're ready for this tower to happen. So you can start to rebuild your life. And good for you, for who that, whoever that message is for. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Now... Like I said, some of you were definitely talking about you feeling like if you don't make the wrong choice, the right choice, okay, that this tower is going to happen. And for some of you, you feel overwhelmed. And this is what's causing or keeping you from making a decision. And if you don't make a decision, let's say this is a career or job opportunity and you have several of them and, you know, what if you wait a day or two? You could lose them, right? This is when it's important to take a step back, check in with yourself, and really do the research on what's being offered here. Okay? See what is going to be for the betterment of your situation. Not just something maybe that's higher paying, but is it going to fulfill you? Is it going to make you happy or is it going to be something that you really don't want to do? You got to take a you really got to take a look at that. And you know that's you know what you can do is make a list. All right? And you can write down um, the good and the bad with with each opportunity that you've got here. And then weigh your options. Okay? And then make a choice that's for the betterment, not just for your stability or security, but also for you, your mental health, your, your emotional stability and security. If you're doing something that doesn't make you happy, then that tower can happen. And the tower needs to happen so you can start to rebuild and do something that you desire, that you want to do, okay? All right, you guys. Sometimes I feel like these messages come in. I feel like I'm not making sense here. <laughs> you guys are going to have to leave me a comment and let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. For some reason, this felt really heavy and a bit complicated today. Very interesting. I mean, I see good things coming in here, but I feel like there's many uh, different situations here. So I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Because uh, I'm definitely talking about many different people's situations, and it's completely different, okay? All right. I want to, I, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Um, like I said, please leave me a comment. And always listen to your intuition, okay? Always listen to your intuition. Listen, allow your inner, don't make something fit. If it doesn't fit, let it go, okay? 
All right, you guys. I I love you. Remember, Saturdays are going to be the giveaway days, okay? I will be starting the monthly readings tomorrow. Hopefully have all of them out by uh, the 24th on Friday. Um, I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.